uh, we're in the garage and uh, we're going to start working on some go-karts. Uh, we actually got accepted to the uh, Autorama again this year. So uh, we got all the stuff for that. And I was thinking uh, we should bring the farm truck since it's most recent. And then Mikey was thinking we should bring the Woody. So what we ended up deciding is just signing up for both. So we both signed up. I'm bringing the farm truck. Mikey's bringing the Woody. So what we're think what we're planning on doing is before the show, we're going to uh, fix and add some things. We're going to start with the Woody because I feel like uh, there's more to the woody then there is farm truck so we're gonna do the woody and then go over to farm truck all right guys so uh i took the fenders off of the woody so we could uh clean them up repaint them and because as you see there's some chip marks and we just want this thing ready for the autorama because we actually built the woody specifically to go in the autorama and uh, that's why we added the sound system and stuff like that. So uh, we are uh, going to repaint, refix, you know, do all that stuff. And as you, if you look in here, I'll bring you a little closer. The wiring's wiring's a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do with that is bought a, a fuse block. So I'm going to add a fuse block to uh, neaten up the wiring a bit and also make it a lot safer. And I bought a wiring loom, but I didn't do the, the, the typical plastic. So we're going to add the fuse block and then add the wiring loom just to neaten it up, hide it better, and just make it look that much cleaner. Before I get too crazy with this wiring and stuff, so I took the battery out and I was looking at the uh, fuse block I want to kind of show you guys how it works. So the positive, you run from the battery to here, and then from the battery negative to here. So then all of this would be the powering, like the stuff the power would go through, and then up here the negative. I, I want to put it in a, a good spot where I could still change fuses if it needs fuses. So I'm thinking behind the seat, but it'd be in front of the battery, where I could get it in from up here but from the front and uh, the cool thing about this is if you look right here there's these red dots those are actually LED lights so if the fuse blows the light will go on telling you that it's blown so we got it all uh, wired in I put the battery in to test it and uh, as you see it's still a little bit of a mess but it it'll be fixed once the wiring looms on but uh, it's all ran to the fuse block, and uh, we grab. Uh, we wanted to grab the battery to make sure it still everything still worked. And as you see, you got tail lights, headlights, got I believe blinkers. Yeah, we got blinkers, and uh, so everything works. Radio works. It's all working again. So now I'm going to uh, get this wiring loom. The reason why I chose this is it's not plastic. It's more, well, I don't even know what material this is, honestly. And I think it'll just look neater than the plastic stuff. And plus when you open, you could open it all the way. So I got the wire looming all done. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I got done. So up here, that's where a lot of the mess was. So I wire loomed up there along the back and up the side and I did that on this side too and I even did it up by up in this corner here there was wires that came up there on both sides and uh, I left this showing only because this uh, changes the speed of the blinker so now I'm going to change the headlight because the mount on our old one broke so I'm gonna change headlights because I bought a new one so what I'm gonna do is just 
take this off, like unbolt this, and replace it with this one. So then uh, I'll just use the old bracket and then uh, figure out the wiring, like try to get that all situated. So I'll do that now and then get back to you once it's all on. All right, so I got this uh, headlight on and I got it wired and I'll show that it works. So both headlights work now. And I don't know if I showed you guys this, but if you see there's that center light, I have that for a blinker. I don't know if you could, yeah, you could see it. See it flashing in there? So the inside lights are the blinker slash hazard. And then the halo is the main headlight. So now I'll just neaten up the wires that run down there. And then as you see, we need to do some repainting. So we'll repaint the uh, grill and some of the body. Another thing I want to try to figure out is as you see, there's no windshield. We do have this uh, plexiglass here. So we're going to try to use this. So I got it kind of cut out the windshield. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got to bring it in this way. I checked it was a little longer, but I did use the angle grinder because it's quicker. And I know it leaves like these little stuff at the end, but once you let it cool for a bit, you could just rub your fingers over them and they come right off and then you got a cleaner look so that's what I just did uh, there might be a better tool and better way to do it uh, but I really don't know of it so for now uh, that's just what I do I got four coats of paint on the woody and the fenders uh, I'll kind of show you what they look like uh, well at least the woody the main part so I got four coats on everything and as you see it's, it's looking pretty good already like it's not that you know bad so here's the top visor part I got four coats on everything and now I'm gonna clear coat it I'm using this clear coat they say that uh, it's a pretty good product and uh, but I was reading on it, it says it, it only has a shelf life after activating it of two days. And they they pretty much say it's it's like the mixture of like if you're painting a car and you add like do the mixture of the clear coating. They say it's pretty much that in a can. Before I do the clear coat, I would like to show you guys how the wood is starting to look out turn out. I got I did, I believe, four coats. Uh, the I sanded it with 600 grit. Then I did a light coat, and I like the I did the uh, painted on like this kind because I feel like I have more control with this, and I got a clear gloss, so that's why it's very shiny. So I uh, I, I did four coats. There's uh, so I sanded it with 600 grit, did a coat, let it dry a day, then I uh, did that again, and then I wet sanded it, and then did a, the la uh, the final coat, and uh, so here's how it turns out, and I think it looks pretty uh, pretty well. All right, guys, so uh, I'm getting ready to put it all back together. So I pulled it out of the garage, so I got a little bit more room and just so I could see how the paint looks in the sun. I got it all ready for the Autorama. Uh, I've always had issues with the chain. So um, I bought a new chain and I fixed that one part on the um, torque converter and I tried to line the chain up as best as I could. So now I'm gonna go down the street and back just to see if the chain's any better.
chain seems a lot better, uh, and uh, at least enough to get to our spot at the Autorama. So uh, there's small things I still kind of want to do, but for now, if anything, this is the complete. Uh, so I'm going to do a little walk around for you guys. All right, guys, so I'm going to do a little walk around and show you what I changed and what's the same. So I'm going to go show you now. I repainted the front bumper, front grille, and the bar where the lights sit. And then I added the windshield. And I added uh, black uh, trim pieces, I think they're, I don't know what they actually are. They're just like, I don't know. But I added them here along the bottom of the window and up to kind of give the, uh, to give it, this kind of look i added magnets from underneath to kind of lift this up a bit so it doesn't droop down i cut this uh so because before i had a lot hanging another thing i added was i added a knob uh like a glass knob here to open and close this uh i added this chrome vent uh it's one of those ones you just stick on the side of your car so I just stuck that on, uh, added this door uh, handle. I know it's like a suicide door, but I figured up here would just make it look better. And plus there's a lot going on right here. So you don't wanna have it up here and have just too much right here. So I figured I'd bring that back for that. And then on this side, I just duplicated the handle, the vents and the knob and all this wood has uh, the four coats as well. I didn't add too much. I did add a key. The key ended up not working as the kill switch. So I have this little key here. This is just for show. The kill switch is actually behind it. But uh, this is just for show so the dash looks kind of complete. Before I leave, I want to show you guys something. So we ended up for the Autorama. We ordered some shirts. It says Delashman Road. We got a, a good amount only because it was cheaper if you got a bigger amount. So uh, I'm excited about this. Um, me and Mikey at the Autorama, we're gonna rock them. So uh, I've already worn mine and washed it. And it, they're pretty comfortable. So, and we also got business cards. I didn't grab one, but we got business cards also because Last year at the Autorama, when we had uh, the yellow truck go-kart, a lot of people were asking for business cards. So this time we were smart about it, got a couple made. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed your cruise down the Lashman Road.